Good morning, everyone. Well, today's today. We're going to start dehydrating some round steak to make beef jerky. So what I've done is I took a recipe from the Cabela's book, and this is called Brian's Best. This is a package jerky mix that we got with the Nesco dehydrator, and this is spicy. So I have marinated it overnight, and I am going to slice it up into thin slices and keep it separate so we know which is which, and um, then I'm going to put it in the Cabela's dehydrator, and I will let you know how that turns out. So let me get this sliced, and then I'll show you how I lay it out. Okay, y'all, I got the meat cut up. Now, two things I wanted to tell you. When you are done marinating the meat, go ahead and freeze it. And then in the morning, when you're gonna do your dehydrating, take it out, let it thaw just a little bit, and then cut it. It makes it so much easier, and uh, you get more accurate strips that way. Um, now, the Cabela book, recommends for firm dry should not crumble 10 to 16 hours i'm going to put it on high for eight hours and then medium until dry and so <clears throat> excuse me i'll show you this is the um brian's best and you're going to separate them three quarter inches apart and I'm going to start on the bottom of the dehydrator and work my way up because the drip pan's down there. So it'll catch any juice that comes out of there. So that's my first, first one, Brian's Best. The next one is going to be the um, package that I got from the Nesco dehydrator that came with it and then the last one will be the spicy so we know the spicy the package and Brian okay well I'll bring you back when it's all done and let you know how it did we'll see you tomorrow or really late tonight probably tomorrow though y'all have a blessed day okay one more tip when you are cutting your meat uh, you may find some fat on it and you do not want that fat in your jerky because it can make it go rancid so make sure you have all the fat cut off of your meat you can use hamburger you can use venison you can use chicken turkey uh, pretty much any meat but make sure that all the fat is cut off of it so it doesn't go rancid okay I've got the temperature set on 160 and y'all this is what I love about this dehydrator you push the button to turn it on and off now because um, I don't know how hot this gets I've turned it so it's got plenty of open air and uh, plenty of ventilation on each side. And uh, here we go. So the countdown begins. The boys say hello to you. <laughs> and I'll be back later. Okay, I've got the temperature set on 160. And y'all, this is what I love about this dehydrator. You push the button to turn it on and off. Now, because um, I don't know how hot this gets, I've turned it so it's got plenty of open air and uh, plenty of ventilation on each side. And uh, here we go. So the countdown begins. The boys say hello to you. <laughs> and I'll be back later.
Hey y'all, we're back. It has been 10 hours. And our jerky is ready. And I will tell you that this is Mike's. This is the package. And this is the spicy. And I cannot tell you which one we like better because they are all so delicious. This dehydrator wins hands down over the Nesco. Uh, it is, I'm gonna just turn it on for a little bit, maybe about 10 more minutes. Um, there's a couple thicker pieces that need to cook but it has been a rock star today. It took me two days to do jerky last time in the Nesco. And I know they're two completely different dehydrators. I understand that. But when you're doing meat, you need that meat to get done as soon as possible and retain the flavor and each one is so good in its own way so thumbs up for sure for the cabela deluxe 10 tray dehydrator i am so happy that kevin bought that for me and i will be dehydrating many 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 things to come so y'all if you're in the market for a dehydrator i highly suggest that you check out the Cabela's. There's a six tray, a 10 tray, a 12 tray, and it was a rock star today. So there's my take on it. I will shrink wrap the uh, jerky and put one, maybe just mix a couple pieces in with a with the Ziploc, because, you know, Kevin, he they're not going to last long. <laughs> so, y'all, have a blessed week. Be blessed and love well. Bye now. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you.